Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Roberto Bruno here coming to you actually from Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, praise God. I have the opportunity to, to come out um, to Arizona to spring training um, to uh, for the first time ever to experience um, the Giants before the before the opening day. And so it's a great and exciting time for myself and my son um, to, to be here and to have some time away. So God bless uh, us because we feel absolutely blessed. And I pray that you have had a wonderful week, but also that you also have some goodness planned for yourself if you have some time off because God is just always doing greatness and he is not like people that lies. Uh, when he gives us promises, he gives us promises. Because in reality, God is the source of all energy, right? I mean, he's the one who gives us the power, gives us the hope, gives us the motivation. He, he's, he's the source of all those things. And it's incredible how powerful our minds are our emotions are, how our circumstances affect us because, you know, a lot of times, you know, you know, I think I feel a certain way and in truth, I really don't feel that way, right? So if I'm always telling myself I'm sad or I, uh, you know, I'm, you know, negative, uh, all I see is dark clouds and cups half full, well, but in reality, we don't even feel that way. We, we should really realize that we, we are not people who live in a powerless situation. Because if God is our father, and he is, then he's the source of all power. He's, he's, he's the, the truth is that, that we have this powerful resource at our fingertips. And I'm not demeaning God as if he's like a genie in a bottle. But if we call out to him, if we cry out to him, if we focus on him, if we focus on his word, God is with us. God is 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 really this this conduit of power that despite our the way we feel, if we feel weak, if we feel desolate, if we feel lonely, if, if we feel, you know, unloved, we have to realize who is our father. Our father is God. In Isaiah 40 and verse 29, it says this. It says, he gives power to the faint. Have you been feeling faint this week? Have you been feeling overwhelmed, discombobulated? you know, powerless, you know, limp, you know, and, you know, and just strength or emotions. Well, Isaiah 40 says, 29 says, he gives power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases their strength. So if we are faint, if we are powerless, He'll increase our strength, my beloved. But our focus needs to be taken off of what we don't have. Our, our, our focus needs to be taken off of, of the maybe the tragedies or the sadness or the dilemmas that are facing us that really do zap our powers, or I should say sap our powers, you know, from us. Because... Again, if we're surrendering our power to our faintness or to the hard situations we're in, well, of course, we're going to feel stressed, defeated, depressed. But here, in this short verse, you know, God is saying, listen, I give power to the faint. I increased the, the strength of those that feel weak. I just want you to be encouraged, beloved. God is with you. He is so with us. And you have to realize 
that God is the source of all our energy. Now, don't get me right. If we eat right and drink water and get in the sunshine, you know, maybe walk around the block or something, that's going to give us energy too. But I'm talking spiritual energy, emotional energy, mental energy to think, to be creative. We could think that we don't have these things or we don't have time for these things. How if we're tapped into the source? God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. And really be encouraged. Be encouraged as you're feeling faint. Read Isaiah 40, verse 29, and the verses that come after that, that are so powerful and talk to this point. We pray you have a wonderful weekend. And Lord willing, we'll, we'll see you soon. God bless you.